Welcome everybody to another game with Right Start Mathematics. Today's game is Short Chain Solitaire, which is game A47 from the Math Card Games book. This book is written by Dr. Joan A. Cotter, and I am your host, Kathleen Cotter Lawler. So first of all, let's look at the objective. With this game, we are looking to provide reinforcement for addition facts. The cards we're going to use are the basic number cards, which I have shown here. We're going to use 36 specific cards, and I'll show you what those are here in just a couple of minutes. This is a solitaire game, so only one person is needed to play this game. The object of the game is to build the following four chains. Now, as you're looking at this, you're thinking, what is this? Well, let me help you out here. A chain is composed of links. And each link after the first two is formed by adding the previous two numbers while disregarding the ones in the tens place. Now, if you're like me, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let me show you here. So I have one plus eight. One plus eight is nine, which we have right there. Now we'll take the next two. Eight and nine is 17. But remember I said we're gonna disregard the ones in the tens place. So we're gonna kind of pretend that's not there. And so we have eight and nine make seven. Then we have nine and seven. Nine and seven is 16. So we just write the six. Seven and six, 13, just write the three. Six and three is nine. Three and nine is 12. Nine and two is 11. So we just write the one. So that's what the chains are. But now there's some really interesting patterns in here. Look at this. I've got the end of this chain connects back up to the top of the next. We have the same thing and the same thing. So it wraps itself around. My first column starts with a one. And by the time I finish that chain and I get to another one, I know I'm done with that first chain. Here I have another repeating pattern and another repeating pattern. There's some really cool patterns in here. And as you play, you'll start to notice that there are other ones in there too. So the layout for this game is we're gonna lay our cards in fans of four cards each. And again, I'll show you how this looks. Beginners may use three cards if they'd like. If you get a little more advanced with it, you're gonna use four cards. We provide the players with the list of the beginning numbers. So you'll see that as I play that I'll have the starting numbers. So let's go watch the game. So here's the 36 cards. These are actually all the cards that are in the chain. So I've got them all shuffled. I'm gonna lay them face up in fans of four. So I have my fans of four laid out. Now, as you can see, I've got a couple over here that you can't see on the screen, but they're over there. And then I have my starting numbers, which I'm gonna put right up here so I can kind of see where I'm going with everything. So looking at my fans, do I have a one? I do not, I have a one, but it's buried. I can only take the top card. So looking at my top cards, I have a nine, nine, seven, nine, seven. And I've got some more on the side here that you can't see, but I do not have a one on the top. How about a three? Here's a three. So I can start that. So my one would go here. Here's my three. Do I have, no, I have a nine. Now remember, I needed a one. So here's a nine. So if I lift this nine, or I could lift this nine, but if I lift this nine, then I can liberate that one. So I'm gonna do this. Here's my nine. I can have my one. Do I have a seven? Here's a seven. There we go. Let me scooch this guy over a little bit. Now let's go with the second row. And it doesn't matter if you do it in order or not. Let's see, do I have an eight? Here's an eight. Now I could choose to continue to build it this way or I could start to run it this way. One and eight make nine, here's a nine. Eight and nine make 17, so I need a seven, right? Here's a seven. Nine and seven make 16. I don't have a six. I've got one there, but the three's on top, so I can't do anything with that one. Well, let's maybe keep going. Let's do a four. Now you can't see it, but over here I've got a fan 
that has four in it. So I'm gonna take this four. I may as well keep running with this one since I'm here. I have a seven over here on the side that you couldn't see. Four and seven is 11, which I have right here. Seven and one make eight. I have an eight where you can't see it, but right there we go. One and eight make nine. Here's a nine. Eight and nine, 17. So seven, I don't have a seven. Let me see if I can keep going with this one. I needed a six. I still don't have a six available. All right, nine, I can see here, needs a two. Here's a two. Nine and two is 11, right here we go. This is gonna be three. Oh, look at this, now my six is available. So I can put my six over here. So now I can decide which of these, where do I wanna go? And this is where the strategy comes in. I'm gonna build this one just so I've got some options. Here's another six, there we go. So I have my game to this point. And as you can see, I've got my three ended with three, nine ended with nine. This one needs a four, which is buried. This one needs a nine, which is also buried. I can't do anything else. Now the rules say that I can pick my cards up once, reshuffle, and let's lay them out. And let's see what we can do. I know this row is complete because I went from three down to three, nine down to nine, seven, this one's incomplete and this one's incomplete. So one and three make four, that's buried, but six and three is nine. Oh, here's my nine. This needs a two. And then nine and two is 11, which is buried. But let's see what I can do here. Oh, here we go. Three and four make seven. Now notice, remember I started with seven, I ended with seven. So this one's done. Oh, and here's my last card. Nine and two make 11 and I'm done. I won the game. So that's how we played the short chain solitaire game. It's a great game. The kids can play it on their own while they're practicing their math facts. Remember, games are to math like books are to reading. Play the card games and have fun. Take care. See you next week. Bye-bye.